Dimension styles, symbol and arrow tab. So let's go up into our dimensions panel. Let's go down and choose our dimension style. We're going to pick this button here for dimension style. We're going to modify this mechanical inch dimension style. So we'll say modify. We're going to go to the symbols and arrows tab. Our first section is our arrowheads. These are commonly referred to as terminators in a mechanical um, ASME, ASME uh, does like to have closed fill. If we're in architecture, most commonly used is an architectural tick. And you see the architectural ticks are diagonal at 45 degree angles. So most, the most common uh, used arrowhead for architects is architectural tick and ASME recommends closed fill for mechanical. Our leader, we just about always use a closed fill um, and so a leader line is, is a, a 45 degree angle pointing at an object. Our arrow size, our arrow size uh, is 0.125 and that is the size that is uh, recommended uh, by ASME. Uh, they like to have a three to one, so it's a little longer than it is wide arrowhead, uh, what is what they like. If we come down to a center mark, so here in our circular item, we like to mark the center of a circle. And in the mark, the center mark is the area right in the middle of the circle. If we choose none, that means we do not have a center mark. If we choose a center mark, that's the little plus this area right in the middle and we like to use of that center mark we like to use a 0 0.0625 um, which is the most common value you use for the center mark if we use a line uh, we will put the center mark at 0.625 and then the line will come out extend past the circular object and so in mechanical, a lot of times we'll use the line and architects will just use the mark. A dimension break. A dimension break is the amount of break in uh, an extension line when we use the dim break command. So the common value here is 0 0.1250. Now, we got to know that ASME does not recommend that we break extension lines but it is done by some companies. And if it is, we put a little small break in there. Adding the arc length symbol. So if we have the length of an arc and we have an arc and then it tells what the length of that arc is, we'll put a little arc in front of the, the value of the text telling us it's the length of the arc, not the radius. Typically we do that preceding uh, the dimension text, but we can also place it above. And uh, I don't like none uh, because then we don't know what that means. Um, there is no given standard for that. The most commonly used is preceding dimension text. The adjusting the jog angle. The jog angle is when we use the dim, the dim jog command. The dim jog command is when we are um, having a um, an, a, a radius and the radius is so large that we can't fit the whole uh, radius value from the center point out to the radius in so we'll break it so the dim jog command works for that and it puts a default 45 degree angle at, as the jog which is very common practice our jog height is the height of the jog the zigzag of the jog when we use the dim jog line command. Um, so this height is 1.5 times the text height. And uh, so this is a very common factor used. And we'll, we'll see this when we use the dim jog line command. So this is the symbols and arrows uh, tab of our dimension style.